Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. And today's video, as you can see, is fairly an unusual one. So as you can see from the title, I am going in to get under eye fillers to get rid of these bags underneath my eyes. You can see those. Now, I've struggled with under eye puffiness and bags for a very long time, and the older I get, the worse it gets. And I guess that's, you know, that's the case for everyone. I've tried so many different ointments, and this has been a thing, I've struggled with this since, really since like teenage years, early 20s. I don't really know what it is, it's just something that I've always struggled with. I've contemplated other options. I initially was gonna get under eye surgery to remove the bags, which is, it's a costly procedure and and I've learned that it wasn't necessary and I think the fillers will based on my research at least the fillers will resolve the problem and it is temporary uh, just like the, and the eye surgery is all temporary really because over time like they they come back but with the fillers it's expensive but it's still more cost effective than an actual sur surgery I'm going in for a consultation today I've contemplated doing this exact procedure for probably a year and a half and you know as i'm getting older I, just, I feel like they're getting worse so i figured you know why not i'm always in front of a camera i've always looked tired um no matter how much water i drink no matter how much sleep i get they just they're not going anywhere and i've <laughs> i came to that conclusion i've figured it's, it's time for me to go do something about it so i scheduled a consultation for today it's at 2 45 it's almost 1 30 right now i want to make a stop so i'm going to leave i don't necessarily have to get the procedure done today but i think i'm going to because i want to as long as everything sounds good um during the consultation if i hear something i just don't like then of course i won't do it i'm not exactly sure what the price is going to be yet but i will tell you at the end of this video now this video i don't know when you guys are going to see it wasn't sure if i wanted to film this process at all because i this, I don't have that, that kind of channel really where I talk about these kind of things. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I've talked about grooming here and there. But this is very unusual for my channel. If you're new here, most of my content is about fashion and style. Um, some lifestyle stuff in there with sneakers thrown in as well. What I want to do is basically um, give you guys a closer look at what my eyes look like. I mean, you can see here. This one is the worst. You can see that. That one is pretty bad too. I'm a little bit nervous if I'm being honest because I don't know what to expect. Um, I would like the fillers to completely get rid of the uh, puffiness in the back underneath my eyes, but I don't know if that's the case. Again, you will find out at the end of this video. Now, this video is something that you may not see for a while. When I'm filming this, it's July 10th, and that's the day I'm going in for this consultation and most likely the procedure as well but you probably won't see this until maybe the end of August. And the reason why I wanna wait that long is because I want to, one, I wanna allow the fillers to, you know, to take time to settle. And then two, I wanna give you guys an update at least 30 days after. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go upstairs in the bathroom to give you guys a closer look at what I'm looking like. And then, um, then I gotta get going. So as you can see, we're much closer in the bathroom in better lighting. And you can definitely see, and it's the one even twitching. You can definitely see where the problem areas are. And I'm really hoping this to really smooth those out. I feel like these bags make me look much older than I am. I feel like I always look tired. I never I never look rested. It's time to do something about it. Oh, look, look at that. I'm just hoping that this procedure works i'm really hoping it works so now that you have a closer look it's time for me to get going i will give you guys an update when i get back home if it's not today it'll probably be tomorrow sometime during the weekend since today is a friday this is today's fit this is simple achromatic style black and white ready to go get these eyes done i'm kind of nervous I don't, I don't know why but let's do it it's time for me to get going and I will get back at you guys later. So I completely forgot that the microphone on my phone was broken so you can't hear a word I'm saying. I filmed this while I was in the waiting room at the office and I'm not sure what I was saying but I took a guess and gave you some subtitles.
It's been a uh, few hours since I had the procedure. I don't know if you really can tell, but um, considerably, considerably puffy under um, my eyes and in my face. As I mentioned, um, the appointment was at 2.45. I had the consultation with the doctor. After that, I decided to just go ahead and do it. I don't know if I had the best expectation because I went in thinking I was gonna get rid of these um, bags entirely. As you can see, that's not necessarily what happened. Now, I do have a whole bunch of swelling in here. So maybe when the swelling goes down a little bit, I think it'll look a little bit better. Right now, it is 6 o'clock p.m. I'm still extremely numb in the uh, in the face. Didn't really use any numbing agent, but the, the filler that's used has numbing in it. So while they're doing it, you're getting numbed at the, at the, the same time, which is weird. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in here and kind of give you um, a post-procedure update of the same exact day. And I'll probably, um, maybe in like a few days to a week, I'll update you guys again. You can kind of see where the, the, some of the injections were there. You can see what the red marks are on both sides there. All in here is extremely numb. It's looking a little bit better. I, I, it'll be something I'm able to see a little bit easier once the swelling goes down. What I'll do is, um, <laughs> since I'm so numb and it's kind of hard to articulate, articulate and talk at this moment, I'm just gonna wait a few days and give you guys an update once I'm no longer numb and all the swelling has gone down and give you guys a better look. The bags, they're minimized. They're extremely minimized. They're not as bad as they were, but mm, I, I have to wait a couple of days and then see what, what I'm looking like. So I will update you guys in a couple of days and give you more information about the procedure and what I've learned and I guess what my intentions will be going forward. See you guys in a couple of days. Day two. It is day two since the procedure, so the following day after. Um, I'm actually sitting here doing some editing right now, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what, um, what it's like. Last night I had um, some pretty severe uh, sinus pressure and um, which gave me a sinus headache and I had that pretty much all throughout the night um, so I've been taking some sinus meds to help combat that I'm still pretty pretty numb over here a little bit um, as you can see I do have some swelling that is the update I wasn't planning on giving you guys this update but I figure I, I might as well just so you know I can keep you guys documented and if anyone is planning on on doing this you you have an idea of what to expect. Um, although everyone's um, recovery and experiences will be different, it won't be the same for everyone. Everyone's body's different. I don't know if the sinus pressure was a reaction to the uh, fillers. I've looked online and some other people have experienced sinus pressure, sinus problems afterwards, but there's nothing that correlates the relation between the two um, from studies or even doctors say that it, that's not the the Juvederm Voluma doesn't cause that, but I don't know. The video I'm editing right now is a video that would have been up for a while since this is um, this is going up much later. I'm currently editing my Zara haul, so I'm just gonna spend my Saturday doing that, hoping to get it up by tomorrow. Aside from that, the next update will probably come once the swelling goes down completely, um, once I don't have any more sensitivity, and then I'll give you guys the full, full um, breakdown of everything and a price, um, my feelings towards it and everything. Um, anyway, talk to you guys soon. Day three. It is Monday, July 13th, and um, last night was, it was rough. I barely slept. I woke up at like seven o'clock this morning and and some some pain um, some excruciating pain so basically um, I've been having these sinus issues like I mentioned to you guys and all the research says it's not related to the fillers there's been tons of people who experience the same exact thing so I don't see how it's not related the issues that I'm having are mostly and mainly on this side of my face which is my left side and when you're watching me of course you're right side when you look at me i do have swelling still when i woke up this morning i was in so much pain that i got barely slept but i just got out of bed and the office opened at eight so i called at eight o'clock 
on the dot and I didn't get nobody. So I waited a few minutes and I called back. Didn't get nobody, waited another few minutes and called back and finally got somebody. And I had an appointment to go in um, for an emergency checkup at 10.30. It is now 11.57, so it's almost noon. I met with the same doctor who did the fillers and he basically was saying that, basically I've, I'm, I, I've bruised and the issues I'm having on this side of my face is due to the bruising, which is near my nasal uh, cavity. And because there's nerves in the area, bruising puts pressure on the nerves, which causing some of the sensitivity I've been having on this side of my face. Even still now, it's still very um, sensitive and tender. I guess it's not really sensitive, it's kind of tender, whereas I don't really, I have feeling, but not full feeling, if that makes sense. But he was saying that the nerves causes that sensitivity and like bruising is almost it moves with gravity and he said it in, in, a, in a in a more doctorial way if you will um because he's a doctor so he knows what he's talking about i i only can try to repeat what he said and not make sense saying it all in all that's what's happening so far so i got it done on friday today's monday he told me take painkillers keep taking them i'm not the kind of person the light keeps changing because of the tv I'm watching some TV here. I'm not the kind of person who likes taking painkillers. Um, I prefer to have like a natural remedy. If I can tough it out, if I can bear pain, then that's what I do. But if I can't, then I result to taking painkillers. And this is one of those situations where I just gotta take them. He told me take three ibuprofen three times a day. So over the counter ibuprofen are usually like 200 milligrams. So take three of those, which makes it six. That's an update where things currently stand. He told me like in the next few days, I should notice a, a relief in the pain. And he as well said that the sinus issues are not related to the fillers, which to me makes no sense. It that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Cause that's when the, that night I started noticing the severe sinus problems. I haven't really been congested, but it's like pressure, immense pressure and a headache, which comes from the sinuses. Maybe it's the bruising that's caused that feeling, but he said that they're not related. And he asked me if I naturally, if I normally had um, sinus issues um, and allergies, and I was like, yeah, I do. And he said, I, I just had a flare up, which doesn't make any sense. That's an update, um, July 13th, three days after having the procedure. I can, I'm still very tender and sensitive. And the areas I'm sensitive in, just, just to clear it up, they're in the injection areas. So right inside here. But he said you can even feel it down lower than the injection areas because of the gravity. So yeah, that's what he was saying. We will see what happens in the next few days and i think i'm going to probably step back in and update you guys on friday which would make it a full week since the procedure anyway see you on friday one eternity later as you can see it is not friday um this is actually the what, what this is september 6th so um it's been almost two months since i've uh since I've gave you guys an update and kind of talked about this uh, procedure, you know, what the results were. So I'm actually in um, New York right now. Um, I was here for the weekend and I kind of forgot about <laughs> this video, if I'm gonna be honest. So I wanted to just sit down and kind of go over um, everything really, like the cost, the procedure, how I feel about it, the results. The swelling is pretty much gone down, the bruising is pretty much gone down. So everything, I guess, looks the way it's supposed to. Um, so we'll get into that. Anyway, the overall cost. So I kind of wrote some stuff down here so I kind of stay on track. The total cost was 1700 oh, Yes, yeah, it's a lot of money. The way they do it is, and it's gonna be different for everywhere you go, is like, I live in Columbus, Ohio, and this, the place I went to, this is what they charge. $950 is for the first syringe. The second syringe is a little bit lower, 750 So I called in beforehand and found that out, so I knew that. I just didn't know how many syringes I would need. There was a consultation fee of 100 bucks. So when I got there, I paid that fee right away. And then of course I had the consultation. Then it was up to me whether I wanted to go ahead and do the procedure that day or come back and do it a different day. If you do the procedure that day, that 100 goes into the total cost. It would essentially be free. But if you come back and do the procedure a different day, then you pay the total 
later. Like you don't, that hundred doesn't go towards the consultation. If that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But since I got the procedure done that day, I ended up just paying the cost of the actual procedure and not the consultation. Um, I paid a hundred bucks and then 1600 bucks, which is a total of 1700. So that's that, that's how much I paid. Um, again, it'd be different for everywhere, I guess, because every place charges things differently. Initially, the doctor recommended two syringes. And like I said, I didn't know how much, how much syringes I would need. So he told me two and knowing what 950 plus 750, I was like, damn, because I, I wasn't expecting to have to spend that kind of money. I was, I didn't really want to but I knew I wanted to get the procedure done. I know I at least wanted to get it done. I was hoping I wouldn't need both syringes. Um, I didn't even really know how much was in one syringe. And I now know it's like one milliliter is one syringe, um, but I had no clue at the time. I ended up getting um, Juvederm, Juvederm Voluma, which is um, an acid, I forget the hyal hyaluronic or something like that. It's an injectable acid that's used as a dermal filler. Um, so they use it like, you know, to fill um, sunken areas or fill wrinkles and fine lines, that kind of stuff. And the doctor told me that it was most known and most popular for the under eye area. That's like what it was known for. And I guess best for that. After the first syringe, which I, he did this eye first. After the first syringe, he allowed me to see exactly how the eye looked. And I couldn't really see a difference. Like I could see like where he had made, the, what he had injected it at, but I really couldn't see what the filler was doing. So I was kind of like, I don't see much of a difference. He was like, you know, I'll move it around a little bit. I'll get it in place. Um, but it's gonna take some time for you to actually kind of see that difference. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then he does this eye. And if you remember early in the video, it was like my worst eye with that really like harsh line. Um, you kind of see, I still have it like pretty much. So he did that eye afterwards. And um, again, when he was done, I didn't see much of a difference. So I was kind of like, I, I can't tell. And he was like, it looks better. He's like, it looks a little bit, little bit better. I just, couldn't, <laughs> I just couldn't see it because going in, as you guys remember earlier in the video, going in, I was expecting it to like be gone. And my expectations were too high. They were a little bit too high but I was expecting it for, the, for it to be gone, gone. After he does the second eye, you know, he looks at me, he evaluates me, then he was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do a third syringe at no cost. He was like, it's, it looks better, but I feel like we can get it better than where it's at. So like sometimes we run promotions where we do a third syringe at no cost. He's like, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. And um, he's like, we'll see if we can get this looking better for you. So I was like, shh, thank you. Because like, I just wasn't, I wasn't comfortable, I wasn't happy. So he does a third syringe. And this time he does this, the first time it was syringe in each eye. So then he did about almost a syringe and a half in, in each eye, um, which totaled up to the three syringes. One thing I can say is that when a needle goes into the skin, you can feel it. And he, he got me the first time because he didn't actually warn me that he was going into this eye. I was just waiting. He like used some ice to numb me a little bit. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. Then, and I was like, you could have warned me first. I, was, I wasn't ready for that. But you kind of feel the needle go in and then you kind of feel and hear like a pop, which I guess is a needle like penetrating the skin um, or the skin tissue. And that's a, it's a really weird feeling, uh, but it doesn't really hurt. It's a little uncomfortable, but it didn't hurt. As the, I guess, gel started to sit, I started to kind of get numb and feel more numb because there isn't, they don't numb you. Like the 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 the, uh, the gel has numb and aging, numb and aging in it. So that's what made you feel numb after getting it. It's a really weird feeling and I started to swell immediately. So after it was all said and done, I went to the restroom and I actually took a picture. I'm actually gonna put the picture right up here. I took a picture, um, basically like what I was looking like so you guys can kind of see that immediately after having it done. Then when I was done, of course I came home and after a couple hours, I kind of gave you the update when I was at home. So recovery, this is where like, it was a little bit iffy for me. Like I told you guys, I was having some issues. For me, I guess with the swelling and the bruising near my nasal cavity, it ended up putting pressure on my sinus. And that's what I was struggling with the most. It was it was very painful, like almost unbearable. So I had trouble sleep, sleeping properly. I had to sleep elevated. I had to take the ibuprofen. And um, I ended up having to do that for like Mm, a week and a half, almost two weeks. Everyone is gonna experience something different. That was just, this was just my experience. And I just kinda wanna share my experience with you guys. But if you decide to do this, you're probably not gonna have the same experience that I did. It'll be different for you. When I last spoke to you guys on July 13th, which was that Monday, I was gonna update you that Friday 
what happened a couple days after I told you that update, I ended up getting this bruise right under this eye here. And I woke up with it that morning and I was like, what the hell? And I went to the bathroom and took some pictures again. I'm gonna put that picture here so you can kind of see what that bruise looked like. And I ended up having that bruise for like a week almost. And I was just, I didn't understand why it was taking so long to heal. Going into it, I had done some research and I thought that going in that I would, you know, take maybe like a few days to heal a, a week and now it's gonna be perfectly fine. Like it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna be no big deal. And I'm not to say like, you know, like I was down bad or anything like that because it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't what I expected. And the, the sinus pressure and the sinus headaches and the numbness and the tinglingness that I had in my face, like washing my face. As soon as I washed my face, start to rub and start to put pressure, I'll like immediately get numb on the side of my face. And it was like that for a little while. And I don't I don't know what caused it. Like I told you guys earlier, it was mainly this side of my face that was the problem. This side was okay, it was this side. So some kind of bruising that I had right inside here was causing all of that, um, all of that pain. The bruising lasted for like almost a week, probably like five, six days right under that eye there. The overall discomfort probably took like a two and a half weeks to like slow down. And then I'll probably see like the fully go away, maybe like a little over a month. The bruising under my skin, like the swelling and the bruising I had, like now I can feel like I don't feel any lumpiness or any puffiness, but that took like almost two months really. Like I think like last week or maybe the last couple weeks when I started to notice that it wasn't there no more. So that, that took a minute to actually not feel that bruising underneath my skin no more. So it's gone now, but it took longer, than, way longer than I thought it was going to. The recovery, like I said, it was definitely not what I expected. I thought it would be something much quicker. It wasn't for me, it took much longer. It may be different for, it's gonna be different for every single person. I just, my experience was, it just wasn't that. When I was dealing with that, I thought something went wrong. I thought like um, I had a bad reaction to it. Like, or, like that's why I went back to the doctor that Monday because I was like, this this doesn't seem normal. Like I know I've been doing research and like this doesn't seem right. Something went wrong. And he told me like it's just bruising, it's bruising and swelling. This is what happens. It happens with some people, so just give it time. And he was right. It, in time, it did die down but at the same time it's like in that moment i didn't know what was going on closing thoughts i'm happy i did it i'm happy i did it because it's something i wanted to do and now i know what the expect and now i know what to expect i know what my expectations were i know what reality was and my expectations were way higher than what reality was going in when i had my consultation i asked the doctor tons of questions I asked him about the fillers I asked him about the under eye surgery and um Fillers, which I knew would last probably about two years if you make it that far, and the surgery would could last up to several years. Now, the surgery costs way more than a filler. Surgery, you could be looking at probably like five, six thousand. But he explained to me that the results are much, much, much better. They can actually get in there and make that skin even finer. Um, so it's really, really smooth. Like you see those celebrities who got like no bags at all. Chances are they probably had surgery or they have really good genetics, like either or one of the two. But he can get in there and make those like, like that, super, super smooth. Uh, like I said, I just wasn't, I just wasn't blessed with that. My genetics gave me stuff like this. But I'm gonna give you guys some B-roll. You can kind of see that one. It was, this is much better. That one's good, but this one is the worst one. It doesn't help that right now I've been traveling. I've been eating bad. I'm in New York, like I said. I get some, I got some B-roll. I got some B-roll the night before I came here. I shot that bureau at like six o'clock in the morning, but I haven't slept the night before. I didn't sleep the night before, so it's it's much worse than it probably would be because I haven't really been sleeping much, which is on me. But hopefully I can get you guys some B-roll where it looks much, much smoother, um, or just give you guys a, a good before and after shot so you can see for yourself if there actually was a difference. All in all, I think what I'll probably do at some point in the future is actually get the surgery so I can get much closer to the results that I was looking for because this didn't really do it. It was mo it, money spent. I didn't get what I wanted, but it was a lesson learned. Now I know that I won't be able to achieve that with under eye fillers, at least not for me. Someone else may achieve that, but I didn't. Anyway, that was my experience with the under eye fillers. If any of you guys have done it in a in the past or plan to just let me know down below in the comment section like i mean we can have a conversation about it i can explain to you a little bit more in detail in the comment section if you guys want that um but i was pretty thorough on this video so i kind of did cover quite a bit of it but yeah um hope you guys enjoyed the video i know it's like it's not the kind of video i would usually do but i just felt like i wanted to share it i mean i anything that i pretty much do to myself in this you know for my appearance i probably will share it like i said i got had a hair transplant and I'm planning on doing another one and I know you guys were kind of looking forward to that. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do it though. I was hoping I'll do it sometime this year, but with this whole COVID thing and everything that's been going on, I might wait to sometime next year. So we'll see what happens. But when I do that, I'll share it. Because when I did my first one in 2015, I didn't share it. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I should have another video coming sometime this week. And then, um, yeah, I look forward to keeping content rolling for you guys and sharing the things that I, you know, get myself into. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace.